One of the tenets of tuberculosis treatment is providing the medications with directly absorbed therapy. And what this means is traditionally a field worker will go out into the community to where a patient lives, if they're medically fragile, or if they're really busy at their workplace to uh, deliver medications so that we can ensure that patients are taking their tuberculosis treatment safely um, and effectively. And uh, you can imagine that going out into the field every day to see patients takes a lot of resources and is tough on the patient because they have to coordinate it with their schedules. I came uh, from Europe a year ago. That's when I was screened for TB. It's kind of old disease and nobody thinks about it uh, from the get going. But once I got to the clinic, uh, things were uh, actually way simpler. Our San Francisco TB program, in collaboration with the University of California San Diego and the San Diego TB program, um, has been piloting a smartphone approach to doing directly observed therapy. And patients can videotape themselves taking their TB medications and send the videos to a secure uh, server. Um, the health department employees can then access those videos securely and watch the videos um, to ensure that the patients are taking their medications. I uh, don't have to go to the, to the hospital every day, yet take my medication, uh, monitoring by the, by the doctor and the nurses, and just keep living my life normally. And the, the phone is exactly about that. This form of directly observed therapy can be done also in other communities. And it's been wildly successful in San Francisco for, from the response that our, our patients and our staff are, are giving us as far as um, the ease and just the um, improvement in both the patient experience and the staff experience of being able to treat people with tuberculosis. There's people who have a treatment for more than, than a year, so having this kind of stuff is just changed the way uh, you experience the disease and the treatment. With our global society and the way people travel and with their busy work schedules and their lives, I think this has given them a lot of freedom to um, just make the transition back to being uh, living like they were living before they were diagnosed with tuberculosis.